courses, and I'm now in an advanced uh, dynamics course currently as we speak. And um, so if you really want to look at your life and, and look at some great successes and what you can really shoot for in your life, then I really encourage you to listen to Carson and I and uh, take things to heart and really uh, take a look at some things because uh, you really have everything you need to make that happen. And Carson will tell you why. This is uh, Carson Jones. He's from San Francisco. He's the area director up there. And I've known Carson now for a few years. Four or five years. Yes. I used to, I, I escaped from San Diego, lived up in the Bay Area for a few years. And uh, so I went up there and volunteered and staffed at some of the basics up there and got to know Carson. And my nephew actually works with him uh, quite frequently. And I can't put you in the hands of a better uh, human being. He has the heart of the world in, in, in his soul. And he wants to share that with absolutely every, every human being he possibly can. Uh, he is very wise and we love him dearly. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. Hey, Listen to him. Give her a round. There's two really good, comfortable seats up here if anyone wants to get out. They got here earlier, if you pay more money. Uh, well, welcome everybody, thanks for being here. My name is Carson Johns, just like she said. Uh, and my job tonight is to deliver to the best of my ability what the basic seminar is, who PSI Seminars is, and then give you an opportunity to enroll in the class. How does that sound? Okay. In the meantime, we can have a little fun. Uh, I'm a really fun guy. I, I'm hilarious, so if you don't think so, that's your problem. <laughs> uh, and so we have some fun tonight, but also we can learn something tonight that might support you in your life in whatever area that is. Uh, so turn your ears on, uh, turn your phones off, uh, let's like leave whatever's happening out there in the world out there and be here and, uh, and, and participate a little bit. Are you that? Yes. Okay, good. This is a pre group. Last night, I was up with, with in Orange County. I was like, okay, yes, I can participate a little bit. And they're kind of like, <laughs> uh, which is fine. I'm okay with uh, uncomfortable silences. In fact, I'm kind of like, <laughs> like, I'm not uncomfortable. But you might be. Uh, okay, so I want to hear a couple things from you. Uh, those of you who have not taken the basic seminar, what have you heard about this class? Why are you here tonight? Um, you know, did they say, oh, we're going to go to this really great building, you know, and have some wine and some coffee and da 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 da? Let's go to see where the middle, middle is. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, hey, look, well, there's so many my friends over here. <laughs> you got dragged here without knowing. Did anybody have that experience? No, so, they, so you have some sort of idea about why you're here. Okay, and by the way, just so you know, if you do take the basic seminar, you can live in this building too. That's <laughs> one of the benefits. Promise. So, what did you hear? What did you hear about the class? The class and why are you here? Um, did you hear? Did you, you seen something about the person that brought you that you're like, what? What? What are they doing? Here? Like, you're you're different. Uh, anything like that? Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what was it? Oh no, actually. Um contact one of my friends because she said that she's benefited greatly from coming to the courses and everything. So I'm actually looking for, I'm in that place where I need more positivity mm -hmm. in my life. And, and so that's why I came down here. Awesome. Uh, how, how, how many can relate to that? Like, a little more positivity wouldn't be a bad thing. I mean, I work in a, in a positive environment. I work with people who've all done this class, and I'm always like, hey, listen, a little bit more would be a little bit better. So right on. Thank you for being here. We do a lot of clapping here. So just get used to it. If you need a round of applause, we'll give you one. Right. Anybody else? Yeah. Um, I actually have a couple friends who've gone to the seminar, and they've all, for the last four years, that I've, five years I've known, they've all keep encouraging me um, to come. And so I've just heard a lot of really good things about positive changes in their lives and things that have happened in the actual seminar that have really impacted their lives. So you've been hearing about this for four years? You know, I so it's, I've seen I've been doing I've been working with this company for about ten years. 
I did the basic seminar, and I was thinking about this, I think it was 17 years ago, which is, I was six when I took it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was 19 when I took the basic seminar, and uh, so yeah, I think it was about 17 years ago. Um, and I've been doing presentations for a long time. I've been doing these whether I work for the company or not. And I, I've seen numerous people, like they come back, three, four adults, I'll love you another year, and it's like, I've seen you, and oh yeah, I did, I did a presentation. But, oh, you didn't die. No, 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 no. Not my time, not my time. Okay, we'll see. And another year, and then all of a sudden, like, oh my gosh! They took the, the, the two faces. Oh, it was so great. Oh, I can't believe I didn't go five years ago. Oh my god. So we'll see. We'll see if I can get you tonight. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> right, well, thank you for being here. Uh, and no, no offense at all. It's true that people will take this class when they're ready. Um, and I always suggest that people just take the class because as soon as you take the class, you'll know that you're ready. You know, and I always say this. It's like, you know, whenever it is you take it, it's going to be your time to take it. So you might as well have that sooner rather than later. But I've also never heard anybody say, God, I wish I would have taken this class 10 years from now. <laughs> they don't ever say that. <laughs> so what else? What did you hear or why are you here? Yeah. Um, Holly brought me. I just started a new career working with her. Okay. And so I want a little of magic to my mom. Right. I've noticed I was such a great I've known Holly for basically 16, 17 years. Weird when you just like, I'm not old, you know, but sometimes I'm just like, how is this possible that I still feel like I'm 19 a lot of times? Okay, anybody else? Okay, so uh, one of the things that I'll say about this class and about sex and arts in general is that the only way that you would know about our class is if you know somebody who took it. And we've been around for 40 years, we have hundreds of thousands of graduates all over the country, all over the world, really. We've done this class. Uh, in almost every single continent. I don't think we've done it on in our practice of continent. I don't think we've done any classes there. I don't think it's possible. We've done it in a lot of places. We've done it for all different types of people all across the world. I've literally done this class and the things we do in this class for little kids that are 8 to 15 from the project housing areas in San Francisco to I was literally on, on Seattle doing the same things that we do in the basic seminar for one of the biggest financial investment firms in the country, a company called BlackRock. And so the reason I say that is because the tools, the techniques, what we teach in this class, what you learn in this class, it works for everybody. It works for people all over the world. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter what your skin tone is. It doesn't matter where you grew up. It doesn't matter who your parents were. It doesn't matter what your culture is. It doesn't matter what you do right now or what you haven't done in your life. None of that matters. We, we operate on the premise that you're a capable human being. And human beings across the world are capable. We're brought into the world with, with incredible qualities. Qualities that make successful people. Qualities that Everybody has, but sometimes we don't we don't allow those qualities to come out. Or we have experiences that cause us to shut down in different areas. We don't think bigger than what we see around us. We have experiences in our life that dictate how we see the world. And so we have a perspective of everything. And the thing about a perspective is that it's just that. It's not necessarily reality. However, your perspective of your life, of the world, of other people, is it tends to be your reality. It just not, might not always be the truth. So I'm going to do a quick little exercise with you, okay? Is everyone okay with that? Okay. So this is kind of like what we do in the basic seminar. This is like a little mini teeny sliver of the basic seminar. So I want you to look up, well, actually stand up. We'll get a little movement here. Stand up. Look up at the ceiling. It's far away. But if you can, imagine, find a place on the ceiling and point to that place. And then with your hand and finger, make a clockwise circle around that point. And just keep staring and looking up at that point, and make a clockwise circle around that point. And as you continue to stare up and look at that point, bring your arm and your hand all the way down underneath your chin and keep doing the circle. Keep making that clockwise, that clockwise circle. And bring it all the way down under your chin, all the way down, all the way down. And now if you look back down at your finger, which way is it going? It's going counterclockwise. I know. I know. It's crazy, right? 
Okay, take a seat, take a seat. So what just happened? <laughs> what just happened? How did I do that? Is it magic? It's, it's, yeah. it's your perspective. Yeah. So that's the basic seminar in a little tiny nutshell. Is that it, it's about looking at your life differently. It's about looking at yourself differently. And when you do that, everything changes. But what we do is we go around in sort of an automatic pilot, and we do things over and over and over. We create results and outcomes, and things happen in our life. And then from there, we say, well, this is how I am. This is what I am. This is what I can do. This is what I'm capable of. This is what's possible for me. And there's a piece of us that goes, but maybe there's something else. Maybe there's a little bit more. The basic seminar is about showing you what that little bit more is. And part of it is about changing your perspective. Change your perspective on yourself, change your perspective on the world, change your perspective on other people. So I'm going to go um, give you a little sort of taste of kind of the concepts of what the, of what the class is. And I do this for a specific reason, because this is every human being all across the world, no matter who you are. We all learn things the same way. We all have stages of learning. So if you think about a little kid, how many of you have little kids? Like how, old, how old are they? Ten and two, six and ten. Okay, does any of them have like a little little race car or something that they ride around in? And don't they just love it? They're just like, you know, they're in their mind. They're like Mario and Andretti. They're racing all over the place. They have no idea what's going on. They're just having a great time. They're totally unconscious and they're totally incompetent of actually driving a vehicle. Does that make sense? So they're unconscious competence. But in this little stage called unconscious, oh sorry, unconscious, let me just start. <laughs> in this stage called a unconscious incompetent, everything's great. Because you don't even know what you don't know. You're, it's, it's bliss, in fact. It's complete unawareness of real, of real life, of, of the rules of driving a car, of how gas works, how the pedal works. You're just doing what you're doing and you have a great time. But then as you go along in your life, you start to be more aware of what happens with, with things in life and that you are. So you start to see, like, oh, people really drive these cars. And then you get a little bit older and you're like, I can drive one of those cars. And then you can pay attention. You read books about how to drive a car. You go to a class about how to drive a car. Right? Are you with me? We pass a test about how to drive a car. But then we get into the car, what happens? I don't know how to drive. <laughs> and so we can turn into a uh, conscious incompetent. And that place kind of sucks. It's uncomfortable. It's scary. It's risky. You're driving down the road going, oh my god, like my, I, there's a stick shift, I don't know how to use it. You know, we're driving, there's, like, I can't have the radio on at the same time. I'm completely focused on what I'm doing to get from point A to point B safely. Are you with me? Okay, so you're unconsciously, or you're consciously incompetent. You know that you don't know. But then you start driving a little bit more, you get a little older. You start, you're like, okay, I got the hang of this. I can turn the radio on and drive at the same time. I can drive with one hand. You're like, all right, I got this. And you become a conscious competent. You're pretty darn good. You know that you know. Okay, everyone with me? Let's say you're 20, 25, you're, you're rocking it, you're rolling, you're driving your car. Okay, but then what do we do 15, 20 years down the road while we're driving our car? Yeah, we're doing everything we're driving the car. Right, we're texting, we're supposed to be with our Man, I was driving in traffic today, and I, I, look, I, I, watch, I watch people, I watch things, I, I, I deal with people all the time. So I just like to see like, what people are really doing. And I was driving from well, North County is to South Carolina. There's a traffic, but I'm not kidding you. Every third or fourth car, somebody was. <laughs> you, you can tell what they're doing. It's like there's no hiding. So, anyways, sidebar. A little pedestal. Okay, <laughs> we're doing everything we're driving the car. We're thinking about what's happening at dinner. We're thinking about what just happened at work. We're thinking about you know our vacation next week. We're thinking, but we're having a full-on conversation in our head, or we're like you know. Blasting Mariah Carey and just like, you know, screaming to the top of our lungs. Whatever, we're doing everything to drive the car. And we become a unconscious competent. We don't even know that we know. Everything's on automatic pilot. 
And so, how many of you have ever gotten to your house or a parking spot and you, uh, and you drive in your parking spot and you go, how did I get here? Because <laughs> oh, you don't even remember the drive home. Okay, so if we do that with something as really dangerous as driving a 2,000 pound vehicle 80 miles an hour down the freeway, and we do it for the most part safe, right? Or we at least live through it. Uh, everyone's, we're here, yeah, okay. Um, if we do it there, where else do we do it? We do it everywhere. Yeah. We go through this stage of learning in everything that we do in our life. How many of you ever changed careers? Anybody? It's like, okay, oh, I'm doing this, I'm a school teacher, I'm a whatever, you know, police officer, you know, I don't like this anymore. I want to be a real estate agent. There's so many real estate agents out there. This has got to be a great job. Oh my God, hey, I can totally do that. I can totally do that. You know, you pass your chance and watch. Oh, this is not that hard, but not that easy, right? Oh my God, I get into the stage again. Right? So we, we learn to be unconscious competence in everything that we do. That's how human beings work. So the basic seminar is about getting off of the automatic pilot. It's about becoming conscious again about what you're doing. It's actually about becoming a conscious and competent again, which I'm telling you is not the most comfortable place to be. But what's happened in life with everybody is this area, what you don't even know that you know, the, 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 I don't even think about it anymore, is creating 95% of the results that you have. It's created your job, it's created your results in your job, it's created your relationship, it's created your results in your relationship, it's created the amount of money in your bank account, it's created, go on and on and on and on. Because this is how human beings work. We're on automatic pilot. So if nothing else, if nothing else, the basic seminar is an opportunity to, take, to get out of automatic pilot for three days. And just looking to, where is the, where is the autopilot taking me? Is it where I really want to go? I kind of look at it like GPS. We're all wired a certain way. And we put our GPS in place throughout the years of our lives, throughout our experiences, throughout you know, our moms and our dads and our cousins and our aunts and our uncles and our cultures and our, uh, and our sex and you know, our, 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 our everything. We put in this GPS. You know, you're wired to do certain things. You're wired to react certain ways. That's how you're wired. And what happens with the GPS? Like if I, let's say I'm in, uh, let's say I'm in San Diego, and I really want to go to LA, but my GPS is wired for Temecula. And if I follow my GPS, no matter what I do, where am I going to end up? Every single time. But then you'll get to Temecula and you go, oh, you know, I mean, it's a town. You know, there's, there's people here. You know, it's, it's okay. It's okay. But it's not what I wanted. What I wanted was to be in LA. And so we do that with a lot of things in our life. How many of you know that you started out very quick, like, I want this, and then now like, this is happening? And we all have that. There's nobody that I've ever come in contact with that said, oh, you know what, when I was 20, I wanted to have this, and this, and this, and this, and now I'm 40, and I have everything that I said I wanted. Because life changes, life happens, things happen, all of that stuff happens, but a lot of it's just done unconsciously. So this is about giving out the automatic power. That's number one, and becoming more conscious and aware of what is it that you're doing on a day-to-day -day 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 basis. And the thing about the basic is that it's not rocket science. None of the concepts in the classes you haven't heard before. You know them, you've read about them, you've heard them at church, you've heard them at school, you've heard them at business classes, you've read them in a book. But the difference is that it's not just about knowing about it. It's about how am I actually living it. How many of you want a better relationship with somebody in, on the planet? Okay? And then, don't we all know, though, how to have a better relationship? Like, I know if I was more patient, if I was more kind and loving, <laughs> unconditional. <laughs> and I did the dishes still. I did the dishes the way they want me to. And I, you know, gave them this and that and the other thing. I would have a way better relationship. But then we go home and we're like, you are. And we get the same argument that we've been in for the last 10 years. Why do we do that? Yeah, we become used to it. So you know a lot of things. You're smart human beings. It's one of the reasons that we operate under the premise that you have every, everything that, that, that you need in order to 
create a relationship, in order to have a business, in order to take your business to the next level. You know how to do it. It's what you don't know that's causing you to not have it. It's what you forgot about that's causing you to not have it. So in the basic seminar, it's about uncovering the unknown. So that when you uncover it, you can go, oh, no wonder. This makes so much sense. So people have these giant awarenesses, and they start to uncover the unknown. They start to uncover the pieces of the puzzle that might be missing. Does that make sense for everybody? Does it not make sense for anybody? I can explain this in a thousand different ways. OK, I want to go over the uh, definition. So the PSI basic seminar is an educational course where you challenge yourself to explore a question and discover your life such that you expand your personal professional effectiveness now. Uh, so first and foremost, PSI, it stood for a lot of things over the years. Back in 1970, it was people synergistically involved. I was kind of a woo-woo, kind of weird you know, <laughs> thing. It transformed at some level into Personal Success Institute, and then people are now calling it personal self-improvement. But none of those actually are really what it is. Really what it is is it stands for, it's the Greek letter of, it's the 23rd letter of the Greek alphabet, the psi symbol. The psi symbol stands for the unknown factor. And that's what we're looking at in the basic seminar. What's the unknown factor? What's the, what's the thing that you don't know that if you did know, everything would change? Because for very many people, that's the, there's two, three, four, five things that they find out in the basic seminar that causes everything to change. It does, it's not, though, about, let me take this class and then, poof, my life is perfect. How many graduates in the room want to live life perfect? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one. I'm the only one. I'm like, what are you guys been doing the last 15 years? <laughs> it's not about that. It's about consistently working on yourself. We've been around for 40 years. One of the most amazing things that our, our company offers is that you can come back and do the basic seminar as many times as you want for the rest of your life for free. Like That's a really valuable thing. I've done the basic seminar, I can't even count how many times I've done it. And every time I'm in there, I know the class, but I see something different. I, I, something hits home in a different way. I become aware of something new in my life, or I say, God, I've really not been using that tool. So it's, a, it's about a work in progress. We all are that. It's never about a destination. So the basic seminar is the first of three classes that we offer. There's a three-day class, a seven-day class that we hold up at our ranch in High Valley, in Clear Lake Oaks. It's called High Valley Ranch. It's like a retreat style thing. You, you leave your cell phones at the door. You go in and you get some serious advance work done on yourself. And it's seven days of uh, just boom, 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 like big time stuff. Walk away from that ranch and you're like, Oh! <laughs> Love it too. Uh, and then we have a nine-day class that's a men's or a women's leadership seminar, and you can only go to one. <laughs> <laughs> that's nine days. So those are the three main classes that we offer. And then we have a ninety-day program that's about implementation implementation in your life. So it's a goal setting deal. But the basic is the first of the classes. The, the classes are designed as one set of curriculum. It's kind of like high school, college, graduate program. And then PLD is like your, what do they call it? Your internship. Or work experience. experience. Yeah, work experience. <laughs> so my suggestion is for everybody is that they just do the whole thing. Because that's where people get the most out of it. However, everything is in the basic seminar. Everything that we do is in the basic seminar. There are 32 different tools and techniques that we offer people around communication, around uh, relaxation and stress management, around visualization, around goal setting, excuse me, goal achieving, um, around having better relationships, around how do I get along with people I don't like? Anybody, everyone have people they don't like? They don't like <laughs> right? We have people we don't choose to be around, however, we have to be around. You know, sometimes it's our boss. <laughs> Sometimes it's the person we marry. You know, oh my god, the person I just want to stay with them. So what if you could do things differently with those people? What if you could shift how you are with those people? There's specific tools and techniques in the basic seminar about how to do that. How to have more energy, how to be more creative, how to find solutions where you don't currently know the solution. 
I mean, does anybody work about a problem or a goal or, or anything right now where you're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what the next step is. Anybody like that? Okay. There's a, there's a technique in the basic center that's about finding solutions. And you tap into a, bi a bigger, a bigger uh, I don't know, pool of what's available. Those. How do I tap into that piece? Okay, so in the basic seminar, there's a ton of material. You, you don't ever get the basic seminar because there's so much to it. There's layers and layers and layers. But it's three days. And for many people, people, many people say, oh, you know, I want a better relationship. I want more money. I want more time in my life. I want more peace in my life. I want to be happier. I want to be more fulfilled. I want to have more confidence. And we go, well, here's the basic seminar. We'll give you all those things in three days, and you have to put some money into it. Like, you know what? No, I'd rather go sit on the couch. You know, I'd rather go do what I've always been doing and just be miserable and talk about this with my friends who are cocktails. Right? So, which is fine. I do that too sometimes. You know, but it's like, but then I also know, like, okay, I don't have any real excuses, so let's get back to work. Okay. So it's an educational uh, class, an educational class. Meaning that this, this comes from the Greek word eduko, which means to draw forth from the dead. So the basic is not about us giving you the right way to do it, or telling you how to live your life, or telling you what you need to do in your life. We don't think that we know that. Does anybody else need any, what, any more people telling them what to do? <laughs> Some people are like, yeah, please, just tell me what to do. I'm totally lost. So give me the answers, please. I'm going to pay my money. Tell me what to do. But that never works. How many of you have had people say, oh, you know what, you should just do this. Oh, you should just do this. And you're like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I should just do this. And they're like, I've been telling you that for 15 years. But it doesn't matter when people tell you, it's when you decide, when you learn it for yourself. It's like learning how to ride a bike or, or learning, whatever. It's like you, you, you have to learn through failure. And you have to be ready to, to, to learn. So. But we offer a space in the basic seminar that's really conducive to that. It's conducive to, oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on right now. Let me sit with this for a minute. Let me discuss it with some people. Let me look at it from a different angle. Let me hear what other people have to say about that. And then all of a sudden you go, oh, bing. You know, those light bulbs will start to go off. It doesn't necessarily happen the first two hours or the first day. Sometimes it takes till Sunday night at 7.55 p.m. You're like, bing. This is what this is all about. So it's not, it's, it's an educational course. You practice, you, you get in there, you do the work. We don't do you in the basic seminar. It's not that kind of class. Okay? You have to pay a lot more money to that. <laughs> okay, education, where you challenge yourself. Again, we're not gonna make you do anything. It's a class where you challenge yourself. But, but I wouldn't say to even go to the class if you're not willing to challenge yourself. It's not for people who want to just not do anything. It's, it's very difficult to get nothing out of the basic seminar, but there are some committed few. <laughs> I am not getting one piece of anything out of this class. But the ones that get the most out of the class are the ones that have the most at stake. The ones that are saying, you know what, my marriage matters to me. My vision, my purpose matters to me. My kids matter to me. I want to be the best I can be at work. I want to be the best I can be in, in my career, I want to be the. I want to. I want to retire, right? The, that's important to me. So I'm going to put all I have into a class like this. I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to get uncomfortable. I'm going to learn. I'm going to. I'm going to get in there. Those are the ones that get the most out of class. So you can do it both ways. I would suggest to suggest that you challenge yourself. Uh, to explore, question, and discover your life. Again, this is about what's the unknown. What's the piece that's, that, if you found it, would complete the puzzle? And I, I can guarantee you that you will find those answers in the basic seminar. And I say guarantee you because it, the class has a money back guarantee. Right? If you don't like the class for any reason, you give your money back. So I don't like to be like, ooh, my ears are like, da 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 da, a little low, low price up. I'm like, that's not what I'm saying. But I can guarantee that. There's not, a lot of, there's not a lot of places where you can go and say, I guarantee transformation. I guarantee that you will find the piece that you're looking for. It's in there. It's in those three days. Um, such that you expand your personal and professional effectiveness. So again, this is not about fixing anybody. You don't need to be fixed. You're a successful person. You have great things going on in your life. I mean, you live in California. 
Again, you've got it better off than 99.9% of the plant. You know, and we, I, I, I did, I have to say, I caught myself today. I was, uh, I was at lunch today with my mom, my sister, and my dad, and I got a salad. And she brought me a salad, and the salad was really good, but it, the salad was on a plate like this big, but it should have been on a plate this big. Have you ever had that? You're like, this, I'm like trying to cut my salad, it's just leaves falling everywhere. I'm just like, come on! And I'm like, this is a first world problem. <laughs> I'm complaining that I have too much lettuce on my plate. Okay, shut up. <laughs> we have great lives. We have amazing lives. We have wonderful people in our, in our lives. Yet it can be more. You can give more. You can contribute more. You can be a better mom. You can be better to yourself. You can think better about yourself. You can raise your self esteem even higher than it might already be. There's a the next step for you. And there's some people that come into this room and they're like, well, I'm good, man. I'm comfortable. I'm fine. But what I can tell you after 15 years, 17 years of doing this, <laughs> Is that I, I've been through basic seminar, I've been through advanced courses, I've taught some of these courses, I teach the 90 day goal study program. But again, I'm not by any means perfect, not by any means to where I want to be. And there have been years where I have been comfortable. I'm good. Like, I'm good. I got this. And I will guarantee you that next following year, I can track it. I can track the money I can make, make the the relationships that were, went downhill, you know, the health that went downhill, because I was good being comfortable. This class is not about being comfortable. It's not about being, I mean, trust me, I like my couch, I like my cocktails, I like my TV, I like all those things. That's not what I'm talking about. There's a time and a place. Get yourself uncomfortable. Expand who you are. See what you're really here for. Those are the times in my life that I've been most inspired. Those are the times in my life that I've used this the most. When I have the biggest goals and I see something for myself and I go, oh my God, I want that. That can happen. Is when I use the basics of our boss. And that's when it becomes exciting again. And it's not comfortable. There's a couple things I'm doing in my life that I'm like, oh, you know, like on the edge of my seat. Like, is this going to work out? Is this going to actually happen? Am I good enough to do this? All of those questions come up in my mind. And then I'm like, yes, I am. Let's go. Let's go. I'm having great people going, ah, uh, let's go. That's one of the cool things about having people in your life that have done this class is that you, if you say something, oh my God, I'm going to get this book published and printed by December 1st. I'm going to have 5,000 copies sold by February 1st. And it's like October 9th. Where's that book? Oh, shoot. Okay, so that's part of the class. Part of the class is not because that you don't have to do it by yourself. Part of the class is that the only way to do it is with other people, supporting you, pushing you on, cheering you on, catching you when you fall. You know, this is not about doing it perfect the whole time for the rest of your life. Failure occurs. Stuff happens. Life happens. Okay, so it's about expanding yourself. It's about being, being willing to grow on a regular basis, both personally and professionally. I think you bring you to the party where you go. So if you bring a, bit, a bigger, better, more focused, more committed, more compassionate, more excited, whatever it is, you, everything grows. And then this is the key word that some of us need to work on. <laughs> when do you want to do it? When do you want to do it? When do you want to do it? When do you want to have it? Oh man, I would love to have more time with my kids six years from now. <laughs> but I'd love to be more financially set. I'd love to have those investments really working for me 20 years from now. What do you need to have on that? Like, they, they don't. Life doesn't happen here. Life doesn't happen here. Life happens right here. And so, in the basic seminar, what we encourage people to do is take action. You say, you know what, this is what I want my goals to be. In fact, you'll set a goal during the weekend. And in that, in that, in that, same study goal. It's like, okay, great. What are you going to have done by Wednesday? And people go, whoa, what? What? No, 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 no. I just want to set the goal for a minute. I just want to sit with the goal and be like, oh, I'm so happy with this goal. I'm excited about this goal. Mm, this goal is going to be so great when I get this goal. I'm going to talk about the goal. I'm tell my friends about the goal. Oh, God, this goal is going to be so good. All right. Now we're like, okay, let's go do something about the goal. Take action. 
and then take another step, and another step, and another step. And you'll see that things unfold really amazingly well when you do that. The universe actually is working for us. God is working for us. The, the, the world is working for us. We just don't let it off. We don't let it work for us. So that's this is the basic seminar in general, in a nutshell. Uh, and I'm just going to go through the key, if I can find it. Um, this is the this is the foundation of the class. Okay, so some people go, well, where is this from? Is this a religious course? And who made this up? And da, 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 da. so a couple quick things. It has it, this any religion is is gone through our classes. This, it has no real religious affiliation. But I will say, many people find that they're major way that they never even thought was available. Because the concepts in the, in the basic are universal. They, they work for anybody. They work for people on the planet. And they're in every major philosophy. These are not things that we've not heard. You've heard this before. To think is to create. What a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Right? What, what I dwell upon, what I focus on, will grow. If I walk around thinking, well, I'm a piece of, you know, fill in the blank, how are you going to show it in the world? If I walk around going, I'm just, you know, I'm not that smart, I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not this, I'm not that. You're not going to show up the way that you want to, or the way that you need to in order to get the goal that you want. Right? So what you think about, you will create. What I focus on grows. That's this concept right here. And it's all throughout the basic seminar. It's the baseline of the class. It's also taking a look at, what are you saying to yourself? How many of you know you talk to yourself? He just went, I don't know, I talk to myself. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This guy's talking so much. I don't know. <laughs> we all talk to ourselves. So the question here in this piece is what do you say to yourself about yourself? What do you say to yourself about the world? What do you say to yourself about your significant other? What do you say to yourself about your kids? What do you say to yourself about the economy? What do you say to yourself about the chances are you're right? Chances are you're going to make it right. Okay? But when I say right, that means you're right because it's your perspective. It doesn't mean it's actually the truth. So to think is to create a major concept in the basic center is one of the foundational principles. Win-win. Ever heard of this before? Okay. Everybody's heard this. Everybody knows that it works. But I can guarantee you that you don't use it in your life to the degree that you could. Do you know how I know that? All I have to do is look out into the world. Our world is suffering major, major problems and catastrophes and issues because we have not learned this as a society, as a culture, as a species. We know about it, but we don't know. So in the basic seminar, we hit this all. How do I live this way more often? How do I live it with myself? You ever, have you ever be your own worst enemy? Right, that's not, what if I play win win with myself? We have, it's so weird. We have like our self and then we have our other self. And then we have our other self. And then we have <laughs> our other self. And it goes on and on and on and on. It's like our psyche is infinite. It's very crazy. But, uh, and that's why in a way esoteric there. So givers gain. Ever heard of this before? What you put out comes back. Do one to others. Right? As you sow, so shall you reap. It's in everything. So we work with this concept because it's a universal truth. What you put out comes back. People think often, though, or they forget, though, that they think what I come back, what I put out, comes back from the same source. And that's not what the law says. The law says if you want more money, give it. If you want more time, give it. If you want more love, give it. If you want more connection, give it. If you want more energy, give it. That's what the law says. But it doesn't necessarily say that it's going to come back from what you're giving it to. But we go, God, this person so much. They just tick, 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 tick. You know, but then you see, you don't even recognize the amazing things that you have in your life. Okay, give us. That's two, not one plus one, that's three. Okay, and this is a concept of synergy. The concept of two energies, two entities, two people, two groups, two countries, two. Whatever, working together in alignment, in harmony, 
in synergy will create more. You can, you can go to the gym and practice this. You can live, live more with a barbell than you can with single. Right? You can lift 25 pounds to 25 pounds each, but you can lift 70 or 80 like this. It's the same exact concept. This concept is used in physics. It's used to keep, build the Coronado Bridge. So it's not, it, this isn't, this is no joke. These are all universal truths. That's what we're implementing basis tomorrow. So there's no hidden message, there's no join us, and there's no, uh, there's no um, referral fees. You know, nobody gets a gold star. Well, you might get a gold star, okay? You might get a gold star. Uh, if you, you know, if you could roll something in basic. But that's not how our company's been. It's not how our company's been for years and years and years. We work, we work with givers game. If this stuff works for you, then go out and give it to other people. And the thing about it is, that's not easy to do. I mean, Kat, you know, bless her heart, says, Carson, I want to have a presentation. I want to put people I know in the basic. I want to have people in San Diego hear about this so they can go and experience what I experienced. And I'm like, Kat, you want to fly down there? How many people are going to have it? She's like, I'll have at least 30. And I have at least 30 people. I was like, all right, all right, I'll do it. And she's like, worked her butt off to get this group of people here. Right? And there's about, I don't know, 500, 600 other people that didn't show up. And all, all we're attempting to do as a company is say, here's some really great things that work. But guess what gets in the way? What gets in the way is my brain is what gets in the way. It gets in the way of my thinking. What gets in the way is, oh, the kids, oh, I'm so tired tonight. It's just too far along the drive. So that's what gets, what keeps people from going to the basic seminar, what keeps people from attending a presentation like this, is the same thing that keeps them from doing other things in their life. It, there's no different. The basic seminar is just a mirror. Right? We think we come into the basic and, and it's like, oh, I'm going to be this perfect seminar student. And I'm going to, oh, yes, instructor. Uh, one time I was using that concept to, uh, you know, volunteer at my church. Yeah, it's like, okay, great, that's great. So now it's really happening. So we, we, the, the beauty of the basic, though, is that you can't hide. Right? You, you will see what's happening in your life. Because it's a mirror. You bring you wherever you go. And so sometimes that's what stops people from going. Like, you know what? I think I'm gonna look here. It's fine. It's fine how it is. You know, it's okay. Right? Sometimes that's what keeps you from going. So here's what I'll say. If there are things that you want in your life, you can have them. You're a capable human being. There are things out there that uh, that are bigger, better, more exciting. There is a vision and a purpose for you. It's waiting. It's kind of going. Okay, I'm waiting. Let's do this. There are people out there that are waiting for you to show up. For the real you, the more you to show up. And they're like, okay, waiting. So it's a, and then there's you out there. Do you ever feel like that? There's the you that's out there going, hello. I'll tell you a personal story for me is. I've had a concept that I have worked with and talked about and talked about and talked about and talked about for probably six years. And my inner self, my bigger self, was going, person, write that book, do that. Go speak, speak on it. It's great. It's amazing. It's awesome. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Up until about a year ago, when I said, Okay, let's go. And I know all these concepts, right? But I was holding myself back there. So it's, you're, I'm not, no one, no one is different in this room. It's just, what do you want to step into now? What do you want to step into now? What do you want to step into now? That's what the basic is. This is not an opportunity for you. Step into something. There's not a whole lot of risk in this. It's a little scary because it's uncomfortable. And it's, you know, what, what, what is the unknown? That's one of the top fears that people have, by the way. Top seven fears. Fear of the unknown. That's one of the main things. Well, what am I, what's going to happen? You're going to find out some really cool things. You're going to find out some things you didn't really want to look at, but you're glad you found out. That's what's going to happen. I just told you, so it's not unknown anymore. 
<laughs> so over the course of three days, the next class that we have in this sort of Southern California is in Orange County on the 24th, 25th, 26th. There's a guesstimate graduation at the end of the uh, um, following Wednesday, so you can bring your friends together if you want to. Uh, the one after that is the Temecula, 7th, 8th, and 9th, and the 12th. All of our classes have the same schedule, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Over the course of this 10 hours, there are breaks about every hour and a half, two hours. The class is delivered in three ways. It's, there's a lecture piece where the instructor will um, present an idea or a concept or a theme. Then you'll do an exercise about it. You'll say, okay, let's play a game. Let's work with each other. Let's um, do a small group. Let's get a partner. Let's like work this out. And then you'll discuss it. So 70% of our, our class is experiential. That's why it works for people. It's not somebody talking at you for 32 hours. Um, there's breaks again every every couple hours. Uh, the money is money back guarantee, and you can do it as many times you want for the rest of your life. So a small investment in a small amount of time. But again, with soft people from going to the basic seminars, like if five five hundred ninety five dollars is a lot for you, that's a lot for you everywhere. But I guarantee you that five hundred ninety five dollars slips through your fingers throughout the course of a month, sometimes two months. There's probably people with bags in here that are worth more than that. I'll you. <laughs> 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 oh, be the shoes that I buy. You know, I've spent weekends, many weekends in my life. I've spent way more than that. And I'll never remember that. <laughs> but I'll remember the basic seminar for the rest of my life. And I've used it for the rest of my life. So it's $595. We always do it instead of kind of for the class, if you want to sign up for it now, we'll, we'll do it for $100 off. So it's $495. Four, four so it's a $500 investment. You get to choose if you're going to do that. Um, I want to thank you for being here and having some fun with me. And hopefully, you either learn something, um, at minimum, you learn something, but maximum, you'll be in the next space in summer. Uh, and if you don't, that's okay too. I still want to thank you for being here. Okay, so I'm done. Uh, is there, oh, you know. Yeah, let me, hey Donna, will you come up and just say a couple words? I always like to get somebody who's done the classes to let people know, like, this is what I've created, this is what I've done. Uh, just as a, as a person who I actually work for the company, I've done the business. No, I don't. I don't. And I actually uh, took the basic seminar in 2010. A friend invited me to come to a presentation like this after she had gone through the program. I didn't even know what I was doing. I didn't think I was looking for anything. And so I didn't come with a plan saying I want more positivity in my life or I'd like to have a better relationship. I just kind of came flat line. Something in the presentation, though, piqued my interest. And I kind of said, what if? So I went. Um, what I created, um, I led a very closed off life <coughs> due to relationship things. And so I really didn't feel anything. And from, as a result of the basic and some of the other work that I've done, uh, I now am in a relationship. I was in a relationship for 10 years. Not baby, nothing for 10 years. And now I'm in a relationship that I never would have been in if I hadn't gone through this and really looked at myself and how I was showing up in the world. Um, the other thing is I'm very clear on the things I want to do in my life as far as my career. And I don't, I'm not as concerned as what people, with what people are thinking about what that is. It might, it might not be for you, but it's, that's what I want to do and I'm, I'm really good with that. And then the last thing I think most importantly is I've learned how, and it sounds really weird, but about how powerful I am. Um, and some of the some of the exercises that Carson talked about in the basic showed me that. And it was like blew my mind. And I realized, wow, you know what? I really had been um, the win-win, I was lose win. So everyone else, let me make sure they're good. I don't care. If I don't get, if I don't get another thing, that's okay with me. And I learned that's not okay because I was worth a lot more. So for me, it's been incredible, and the best part is the people that I have met along the way. My best friends, my, some of my very, very best friends, I would not even know. Mm -hmm. So thanks. Cool. Awesome. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, while well, say uh, just uh, briefly, if you do want to register for the class, you can do that right now. We'll take your cards or your checks or your cash or your I'll show you some shoes or purses. <laughs> um, and you can register over here. There's a little registration card. You fill it out, pay your money, and get your seat for the next class. If these things don't work for you or you, um, you, you know, you're out of town or whatever, there's classes all over the country uh, that are happening every weekend. 
So don't don't use oh I don't have enough time available that weekend as an excuse to not sign up. <laughs> oh I don't know if I can make it. Don't do that. Sign up for the class. Have it be something that's like I'm doing this because if you sign up for the class, then guess what will happen? You'll go. I, I bought plane tickets. Uh, I don't know six months ago for the end of this month because I'm busy a lot and if I don't do that then I'm like oh you know vacation's gonna happen then that's not so I buy my money tickets in advance right I book my hotels in advance because then I'll go same thing with this so book book yourself make it happen and then we'll figure out the date that does work for you um, the other thing is if you don't register now re register tonight or within the next 24 hours or whatever you probably won't go. Something and you'll go, that was a really, that was a really great, God, that guy was just, he, yeah, that presentation was amazing. <laughs> oh, I, my mind was blown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go home and I'm going to think about it. And then, like, what, what was that guy, what, that was that thing? Because what will happen is that automatic pilot will kick back in. That's what happens. So, they, like, my only job is like to go, boom, okay, get off automatic pilot for, for a minute. And then make a decision from a place of wait, we're just if y'all don't, that's up to you. I think my life probably won't change that much if, if you do or don't. Right? Some of your friends, some of your friends' lives might. But uh, but again, do it for yourself, don't do it for anybody else. Uh, and then Catalyst. Yeah. Thank you, Carson. Yeah.